Maxime Bernier promises fairness for the West. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Western Canadians sick of seeing money flow east even while the people getting the money object to the very industries that make it. Well, they've got something to feel good about today. One federal politician, Maxime Bernier, is now promising fairness if he becomes conservative leader and then the Prime Minister of Canada. For years now, decades even, there has been only one pipeline that people, especially people on the left in eastern Canada, but especially Quebec and uh, every Atlantic province other than Newfoundland, only one pipeline they've never objected to, and that's the one that carries the money. I'm talking about the equalization program that sees British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Newfoundland subsidize bad decisions in Ontario, Quebec, and elsewhere. Well, Maxime Bernier is calling this program what it is, unfair to the West and a welfare trap to the East. Because of this, the two provinces appear poorer than they actually are and get more equalization money than they should. These provinces are therefore encouraged to continue their policy of subsidizing their local consumers instead of getting the full value for their energy, for example, by exporting it. And when you look at the money some provinces get, why, why would they want to turn off the taps? In total, the federal government will hand out $17.88 billion in equalization payments this year. Want to know how much Alberta will get? Zero. Saskatchewan? Zero. British Columbia? Zero. Newfoundland? Zero. Those are the provinces that currently kick in. And then there are the provinces, the ones that oppose the west to east pipelines, that won't allow fracking or the development of offshore oil and gas, that block major mining projects or other resource development, the ones that adopt bad economic policies because they can get easy money from the feds. Yes, I'm looking at you, Ontario, Quebec, Manitoba, Nova Scotia, PEI, and New Brunswick. Of that $17.88 billion the feds are going to hand out, Quebec will take $10 billion alone. No wonder they like the current system. That's 56% of the pie and a huge chunk of the provincial budget. If they had to work for that money, well, that would actually require work or good policies rather than their anti-development socialism. Quebec has received handouts from this fund every single year since it was created in 1957. All provinces have received funding at some point, but Quebec has never missed a year and they always take the biggest chunk. It helps them subsidize things like $7 a day daycare paid for with money from oil or other resources that Quebec won't develop themselves. Bernier says the way the system works now is unfair because while oil, oil and gas revenue is factored in for Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan and Newfoundland, Provinces like Manitoba and Quebec make piles of money for hydroelectricity, but that doesn't count, meaning they get more money from equalization. This system is similar to badly designed welfare programs used to discourage recipients from working because they will then lose all their benefits and will be worse off than if they stayed on welfare. That's what we call a poverty trap. Now, Bernier is short on specifics. He says he would adjust the formula to be fair, to make it so that provinces have the incentive to develop what they already have rather than rely on handouts from the feds and the other provinces. This has been a big simmering issue below the surface for an awful lot of Western Canadians. And we've been on this fight for a while now with our Cut Them Off campaign. You remember the billboards outside Montreal City Hall asking their mayor, Denny Coderre, why he was happy to let billions of liters of raw waste spill into the St. Lawrence River, but protested the Energy East pipeline, claiming he feared pollution. We even had one of our proposed billboards questioning why Coderre was against Energy East, but for Saudi oil from a Sharia country, banned. We had to put it on the back of a truck and drive it around town. And when we polled on this subject a year ago, we found that 69% of Saskatchewan residents and 80% of Alberta residents agreed with cutting off Quebec from equalization if they opposed pipelines. Bernier may not be going that far, but finally someone is talking about this issue. This constant flow of money going from west to east, even as politicians from the east do what they can to shut down or hamper the industries producing the cash. The fact that Bernier is a Quebec MP standing up for Western Canada, well, that's more impressive. He could lose support in his home province just for standing up for what is right. Who knows if he win will win this contest, but at least he's got the conversation going. If you like the video you just watched, make sure you click subscribe to our YouTube channel, never miss a Rebel video again, or 
Think about joining the cool kids. Become a subscriber, access premium content.